We're going to create a holiday card. I'm doing the Valentine's Day card largely just because I'm doing this in February. And so this is the very simple holiday card I created. I've changed my fonts. I've changed my background color. I've added a div. A div is just a box that separates the page into pieces. You can have multiple divs. I just have one. It's a box that is holding my content. I've put an image in the center of my content and a little bit of text. It's actually very simple code to do all of this. And we're going to go through a few different pieces of it. So you're required to do another simple holiday card. You have to have an image. I want you to use a div tag. You have to have a little bit of text. So you should have a title. This one will be Valentine's card. And then we're doing something more efficient than doing inline styles. We're putting all the styles up at the top of the page. So you do that by putting in a style tag. And then I redefine my body with the background color. And I did this just using the color picker. And it let me pick a shade of red that I liked. And I liked a, I was trying to go match sort of one of the darker shades of red in the bear. And you can just hit enter and put it in. It's going to change it from the shade that I had before, but that's okay. So we've got a dark red there and I want my text to match. So I would copy that color and put it for my H1 and H2 tags. And now they're all matching and I have a div. That's my box here. You see that I put everything inside a div and I've set the background color and I've set a border of two pixels solid and Rebecca purple. I can still use named colors or I could go, have gone in and used the color tool. I've changed the font family for the entire page to a serif font and the serif fonts have the little lines at the edges where you see on the S here. I've set the border radius of my div to 15 pixels. That puts a curve on the corner. If you don't set the border radius, the corner will be straight edges. I've set the maximum width of my div to 960 pixels. That's making it so that if I change the screen size, my portion of the screen stays that size. But I did a maximum width, not just a regular width, so it will shrink. And you'll notice my image is shrinking when I change the size there. We'll get to that in a minute, but it's done with the percentage right here. I've set the margin. And that's the amount of space outside of the div to five pixels, that's top and bottom, and auto. And auto centers it in the page. So if I make the page larger, since I have a maximum width, it'll stay centered. That's what auto does. And then I have padding of 15 pixels. That's the space between the border and the inside content. So padding is inside, margin is outside. And then I've set my H1 and H2 tags, H1, H2, to be that same dark red, and I've done a text align center. Now my image, to make it center the way I want, I have to change its display mode to block because its usual display is inline. And if I took this out, it wouldn't center properly. So you have to have a display block that allows you to change its alignment. And then I'm doing the margin of 15 pixels. So I'm having 15 pixels of spaces above and below it. And it's again centered using the auto command. So that centers it within this area. Plus I've set the width to a percent and the height to auto. So the height will change as I resize. But as I resize the image, it's always going to be 60% of my div. So most of the work on this page is in your CSS. The actual code in here is very simple. I've got Happy Valentine's Day. And this actually, if you know you need a code, you just start with the ampersand and you can just pick. The apostrophe is 39 and that lets that display. Because if I just typed in the apostrophe, some browsers would take it, some wouldn't. 
and I have that as an H1 tag. Now you're required to include two comments. I put two comments in here. The comments open with the exclamation point dash 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 and this shows you that it's the code for displaying an apostrophe. And then I tell you that alt tags are read by browsers for the blind. You need to have your alt tag in describing your image. So you're just going to do a very simple greeting card. Again, I did Valentine's Day because I'm doing this in February. If you want to do Christmas, birthday, baby shower, bridal, whatever, whatever card giving occasion you'd like to do a card for, it should have text, comment, images. And the most important thing is that we're moving the CSS up to the top of the page and you should be doing a lot of styling for your page. That's a major point of this assignment.